That's, <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, that Superman scene in the Iron Giant, it really was heartbreaking. It was tragic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so listen, we've decided that since we were so sad about the Iron Giant, yeah. we're going to figure out the saddest film saddest moment, moment in Mate Night history. So, this is just films that we have watched, that we have brought separately, that we remember, that we think of being very sad films that have made us cry, or in some cases, just that we know are supposed to be sad. <laughs> some people have cried about <laughs> um, What we're going to do is we're going to start with the Iron Giant as our, our, as our as our launching platform, and we're going to do a this or that yeah. thing. A versus B. So, Fred's just going to. Toss us his first one, and <laughs> we are going to decide which moment was sadder. Yeah. So, starting with the Iron Giant Superman scene, heartbreaking. I know. What is its competition? I'm gonna, I'm gonna toss over <laughs> Titanic. I okay. There was some here. Which scene? One sec. <laughs> there was some here. The opening scene. I. <laughs> Wait, you got sorry, three, we got three hours of this. Out, out, sorry, out of respect for the the um, the film context, I couldn't say I'm going to toss this over. <laughs> so that's a big one, which is no one cares if I toss over Titanic. Oh. Uh, we're going to go with Jack's death. I think there are potentially some sadder moments. I was looking on Reddit earlier mm -hmm. about there's a moment where a family tuck in their kids. And yes. we know that there's there's going to be a death. Now, I can't actually remember. But it's not as memorable. But yeah, it doesn't we'll, kill a main we'll do, character. We'll do a Jack death in here. So Jack sacrificed to keep Rose alive during the freezing waters of the Atlantic. Classic tearjerker for some. So the question is, which is sadder, correct? Iron Giant or Jack she probably should have just got on that massive plank of wood. Nah, see, that plank of wood would have started sinking if they'd have both gone out. So have, haven't, they, haven't they done like a Mythbusters on it and it was fine? No. <laughs> <laughs> someone, someone, someone that. Look, the myth, that's a myth, Freddie. Um, okay, let's say that the Titanic scene was almost certainly sadder, even if it didn't quite resonate with I'd, me as much. I actually disagree. I think the, the sadder one was the Iron Giant because they there is the definitive emotional, this part you're supposed to cry at with the Iron Giant, the Superman. Whereas with Jack's death, they're, they're chatting for a bit and then she goes to sleep and when she wakes up, he's dead. It's not quite as... You make a very good case. And also, he 100... There is... Look, maybe he couldn't have gone on the thing, but I, I feel like if they're going to leave it that much up to contention... Just make it smaller. Yeah, make it more... Yeah, make it <laughs> definitive that he can't go, rather than... Yeah, okay, He literally okay. hopped up and went, this is enough. Yeah, this is <laughs> sure. get, get the fuck off. Gave up <laughs> unbelievably <laughs> quickly. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, so for me... Are you trying I, to climb up, mate? My vote is Iron Giant stays on. I think you made a very good case, and I'm happy with that. So, second film, what you got for me? Should we just go through yours then, mine? Shall I do um, random generator? Well, I can just go through my next one. You, if you go want. use. Not, okay, you, so you this go, is a you, you go use, baby. This is a film which I don't think you will have watched, but I don't know. Nineteen seventeen. Um, I d did not watch. Okay. Out. I get confused with Dunkirk. But I no. absolutely adored this film. I didn't really like Dunkirk very much, but this film really just was a a. a amazing film and it was made to look like it was all done in one shot which was a super interesting it was mm -hmm. actually done in three I think but it, right. it's it's incredible film is, and is it the Sam Mendes one is it Sam Mendes yeah 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 it's a Sam Mendes one mate yeah nice um, so, so emotionally hard right yeah so there's scene. basically to, to make it clear which scene I'm talking about um, the 1917 yeah. follows two guys Okay, basically, they are trying to get a message to a battalion of soldiers yep. in 1917 about to do a push of attack. It turns out it's an ambush. They're going to go deliver this message. Do not do this attack. This You're all going to die. Mission successful, they make it. But one of the two dies en route. Okay. Now, the one who survives has to deliver a message to a member of that battalion who is the brother of his mate who died. Right. And so there is this scene... You asked me if I could find films which I cried at, and I was like, oh, I think I might be able to. It wasn't very hard. And all <laughs> six of these are films that I did cry to, including this. And oh, I, This I will be great, because you'll emotionally be yeah, able yeah, to yeah. say which one you cried harder at. I, I wept okay. when he told his brother, your wow. brother is dead. And, wow. he, and, and it's the guy who plays Rob Stark is the one really, uh, receiving the news. Mm. And it is the most 
powerful, heartbreaking moment because you're at the end of this horribly weary journey that's all been in one shot. So is this like the uh, the, the climax of the film? It's more of an epilogue. Right, okay. Um, because the, the climax itself was successful. Okay, right. So but there's the- this epilogue of this closure of this character who died. Wow. And it is... I That's probably one of the times I've cried the most at a film. I mean, it was just... it, it That was a thousand times sadder than the Superman scene. Okay, you know, I, uh, I, we'll, we'll put that as a number... Of, wow, that's 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 taken the cake so far. Yeah, so. that was a... That's a brilliant film, by the way, and I haven't put it through the main eye system, so I can't say for certain, but I I would almost certainly recommend it to anybody who... who, who if you like the odd war film, this is, a, this is one of the best for me. Perfect. Okay, so I am ready to spin... Uh, get rid of that, and then I'm ready to spin, I think... All right, so let's see what the next one on my list is going to be. Mufasa's... Da- <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, apologies for the bloody cheering. That's the worst. Like, could you not just fucking pick one? No, no. Why see. could you not? You've just wasted so much time on Mufasa's that shit. Mufasa's death. Lion so King. I already had that in my list. Yeah, and did, did you cry it? Oh, fuck yeah, I cried This is that. great that you cried yeah, at so many films. I, was, as a kid. I really struggle with the emotional yeah, side yeah, of yeah, these yeah, sort yeah. of things, so it's, it's good to, yeah, to know I, which ones I, are sad. I, this is going to be a running theme here, but I really, yeah, I definitely cried. But okay. I, I watched it as an adult. Obviously, I didn't cry then. There's probably two elements. One is that I'm an adult now, and two is that um, I've seen it before. But certainly for the first five times I watched it was a child, I was like, this is... I just won't watch this scene. I'm going to skip past right, it. Right, okay. So what are you thinking compared to... Oh, which is sadder? I'd probably say the scene... Oh, I'm going to go with Lion King. I'm going to okay. go with Lion King. I think, I think that there is something so pure and innocent about Simba in that moment that just the vulnerability that he feels in the and and the responsibility that mm. he feels for that just makes it a gut-wrenching moment. Wow. Okay. Um, and I think that it is a better description of it is like it's the saddest scene. It's an incredibly sad moment. Yeah, I, I I think that Lion King is certainly a more famous tearjerker than yeah. I hadn't heard of 1917's sad scene, but I haven't watched the film yet. Um so I'm I'm very I'm comfortable with that as, as long yes. as you are as someone who's cried to both. Oh mate Wait till the end of this list. I, right. cried, I cried to do, fucking do, all of these. I've got one ready whenever, but you can do uh, yours if you want to do one. You start your bloody wheel now and it should be I've done already, by I've already girl. wheeled, so <laughs> wheel, is, wheel is well wowed. Okay, well, why don't you just go f- ahead and tell us the next one? I've got one that I cried to. Let's go. Woo! <coughs> life Let's is, hear it, man. Life is beautiful. Oh. So this will be tough. Great one. Great so one. Uh, for any context for the... Um, Audience, I haven't cried at any films for a, for a good long while now. So we're talking about there are a couple on here that I've cried to, and they were when I was a kid. So it'd be a bit more difficult to judge the emotional impact. You should still be able to at least feel sad, right? So, yeah, and, and we rewatched this one, and I did again. Was like, oh yeah, it's definitely very sad. So uh, the moment is Guido's death. Now, why I will argue that this is an incredibly impactful sad moment is because, as we spoke about on our review of this film, the film does so much to bring lightheartedness and humour to a very, very dark situation Mm -hmm. that it takes you off guard. Like, you are effectively watching a Holocaust film, and he is spending his whole time trying to bring brevity... Yep. levity I should say levity to the situation and so when he dies even his death scene itself is shocking because they do it off camera and it's he, he makes a joke yeah. on the way to his execution yeah. so that his kid doesn't think anything's awry and that in itself is is heartbreaking and yeah. it added to that is the fact that he's he's only putting himself in this much danger to try and find his wife like yeah. and and it's all unnecessary and you find out it's unnecessary in the mm-hmm. end anyway mm-hmm. um it's one where it's a very weird cry or it was when i did it because you don't re- you you slowly come to the realization of what's happened yeah because they shoot him off screen and then you, th- you, it kind of just shows the the setting of where which corner he's gone round. Yes, walks around the corner, shot. Guard walks, and back then out. there's a few seconds 
and you know, you're expecting him to come back out and yeah. like he's turned the table the guard comes back out and then there's still a few seconds where you're like but he's gonna come he, yeah. he's got to come out yeah, he's yeah, got yeah. to come from behind that corner because we know him we know Guido we've seen him this whole time and so it's a it's a, like a delayed impact cry which is a we- it's, it's weird it's, it's very impactful but it's not like yeah. your Superman scene where you're like this is the moment you're supposed to cry and everyone's crying there yes. it's more a Oh, I'm crying. Oh, I turn around and everyone's crying. We're all crying. <laughs> You're slowly coming to the realisation. It's very unique. You're yeah. slowly coming to the realisation because it's made it ambiguous, but mm. but but also definite. So you do come to the realisation, but it, it takes a while and it's very unique in that regard. And funnily enough, the other one that I'm going to mention later that is a crying scene, well, it is a scene that made me cry, similarly has something like that. Yeah. Where it's kind of like out of nowhere. I'm going to make a case for why Lion King beats it. Sure. The uh, the balance of the ambiguity, meaning that there's a very long delay before you understand fully what's going on and so you don't have the time to feel total sadness increase, combined with the very short following of quite a lot of happiness because people have just escaped the Holocaust because it's not long it's very shortly after that moment that everyone starts getting out and he finds his mom and the tank turns up and it, and it all turns very happy very very quickly after that it doesn't really leave you to kind of weep very long right okay um total sadness i would say lion king makes is much sadder so here's where i disagree i find things like that much sadder because you realize what he's done was unnecessary so he really didn't need to do any of that because of the the um, uh, not the redemption, but you know, kind of the, the fact yeah. that everyone said the, the moment of savior right after, like literally just yeah. after. If he'd have just held tight, it's things that make me really upset. Injustice. Are, are yeah, things that didn't need to happen. Yeah. Where you like horrible things happen. You like, but it was yeah, you, just one thing could have slightly changed, and yeah. this wouldn't have happened, and that's so unfair. Um, so not only that element that you mentioned makes it, <coughs> I feel, carries more emotional weight. Added to that is the the humour that he brought to the whole process before. Yeah, I think that because it spends so long in the film showing you him getting out of these situations, and then there's the ambiguity, and then there's the quite quick turning it around to be positive again. If the question we're asking is what is the saddest film moment in Make Night History, I would say this is probably much more much more complex and uh, certainly more in, it, it's certainly one of the most impactful moments mm. but I still don't know if it really constitutes because of the complete m- array of emotions including quite quite a lot of happiness quite shortly afterwards mm. I don't know whether it deserves the title of much sadder for me that's why it's more of an overwhelming tear like it's like you are like all of the emotional weight of the scene and then what happens beyond it's an elongated cry yeah. whereas with the lion king although i haven't cried to lion king it's very sad it, you get the death scene it's very sad he's died and then you kind of get over it because you're in the position where we're we're looking at um simba's rise back up he obviously has the, the yeah the, but the, that's the, nowhere near as quick a turnaround as life is beautiful that's a good no, while for, for me though to... like when when i watched it and when i cried and when all our family were crying with life is beautiful the whole of the rest of the film we were all crying through because the, the oh, happiness actually is right. like even sadder because we, we Did you think yeah, yeah okay. so, it didn't so, have that impact on me that, yeah so yeah. so clearly the, the, the tough thing about this is if we both have such a different emotional reaction to the films, is how do we actually well, judge Well, usually what one we is? would do is we would just let one of us make the decision. But the problem with that is unless one of us has watched every single one of these, which maybe that could be you, because there's only one film that I don't know for sure you'll have definitely watched. So I'm going to give us the next film. I'm going to let you make the call on this. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then I'm going to give you our next film. And if you have watched that, then you are then fully responsible for the rest of the video. So I am going to go with Life is Beautiful. Sure. And it's not... I'm, I'm trying to not just be because it's the one that made yeah, yeah, me Yeah, yeah, well, it's your decision. My, my main reason is because I, I think that the Mufasa death is one of many... of Like an, a, an archetypal trope death. Sure. Of like the father figure dying. It's tragic, but 
it's not that unique for me as okay. a, as a yeah, so I, I would one agree with that. The Life is Beautiful one is incredibly unique. Hey, and if you're listening at this point, let us know what you think in the comments below. Let's um, be quicker on the next one. Okay, my, well, my have you watched it, Fred? Armageddon. I have not watched Armageddon. Oh, okay, I'm going to make the decision on Armageddon. And have you, have you watched it? Yes, yes. I cried on it. <laughs> <laughs> I know the scene, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Um, not as sad as Life is Beautiful. It okay. is, it's very sad. And, and for anybody who wants a spoiler and just wants us to tell us what happened, it was a long time ago since I watched it, but he is sacrificing himself on the phone to his daughter. He's, he's speaking to his daughter on the phone and he is saving the planet by dying. It's Bruce Willis. Yeah. It is sad. I did cry. I was quite young when I watched it. But Life is Beautiful it certainly wasn't my favorite film, but it is by far one of the most profoundly emotional journeys that you can go on so with that film. Armageddon just kind of felt like a bit of fun with a very sad moment at the end. Yeah. So I would recommend anyone listening, listen to the Ben Affleck commentary on Armageddon. Oh, right. Where he just goes and takes the piss out of the whole concept of... Because Armageddon, correct me if I'm wrong, because you've seen it, I, I only know of it as it, the infamy of uh, of the, the plot, which is that... So there's is it there's a rock coming to 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 yes. hit the earth something like that an asteroid uh, an asteroid right, right yeah <laughs> fucking right, rock right bad. there's a big rock <laughs> asteroids coming to hit the earth and we don't know what to do about it yes. but the plan is to get loads of <coughs> people who work on oil rigs yes to go over and like destroy the asteroid yeah something like that something like that it's been a while <laughs> yeah so that's the whole idea is like it's like the only people that could possibly do this are these oil rig workers <laughs> and which in and of itself is kind of could be taking the piss out of <laughs> but in the like DVD commentary of the film it's just Ben Affleck on his own just shitting on this as a concert going like I spoke to because it's a Michael Bay film isn't it so yeah I spoke to Michael about it and said look why would they go to like We've got the top scientists and engineers in yeah, the yeah, world yeah. would want to be working on these problems. But, oh, yeah, my boys are going to get... We're going to go on the oil yeah, rig. Yeah, 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 and yeah. just so you know, um, I don't want you and your scientists getting in the way of, of me and the boys. <laughs> Was it like that? It's this, been a while. This is like... It, ben Affleck <laughs> is having this conversation. Like, he's he's mimicking this scenario because it's the exact scene that's happening because it's DVD commentary. <laughs> so in the scene, I believe, like, NASA is speaking to this guy who runs this oil rig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, then, yeah, yeah. and he's going like, we need you to do this. And and, and um, Bruce Willis's character's going, once we're up there, we're in charge of this operation because we know oil rigs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's and completely we fucking know, ridiculous. We know boring, we know drilling. Yeah. And then um, Ben up there's like, why the fuck is this guy telling? Like, <laughs> it's just unbelievably more competent than him. And so I came to Michael Bay and I said, yeah, why would they do that? And he went, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Give him out, Michael. My so, man. So yeah, definitely if you get a chance. Yeah, I, nice yeah. and you know what? I would be willing to forgive the stupidity. I would be, but it simply isn't as sad as life is beautiful. Yeah, and I so think. therefore we... Uh, are left with Life is Beautiful still on the podium. So here's one that I'm hoping you've watched because this was yes. as a kid. I've probably cried to it. This is one that I've cried to. We've got doubled up. Holy shit. Random random generator. The two films that I've cried to. The one I think I, I, I almost wept. Uh, Bridge to Terabithia. Nope, not watched it. Jesus. Never even heard of it. What is that? Really? Yeah. That one was... Sorry. Well, it, I think then it can't win, but... Maybe more more of a cry than life is beautiful for me. Okay, but so I was walk me through, what's the scene? What happens? So the story in Bridge to Terabithia is like set in a high school with with a, a couple of kids who form an unlikely friendship. They're both the fastest kids in school. Yeah, uh, basically a new girl comes on. She's got quite a zany family. Comes to this this school where our main character protagonist is the fastest kid in school. One of the first scenes, she beats him in a race, and then she's like, oh, I, "I don't like her." Blah blah blah. But they form a friendship, okay. and then. Basically, the film is about them playing, like it's their imagination. They okay. have this world called Terabithia, which is, is animated weirdly. It's, it's kind of interesting. Okay, I like that. Um, and a lot of it is just them going out on the, the, the creek. They, they go on a swing that's over a river, uh, and that's, that's that, right? I follow. He starts to form a friendship, loves her family, and it's just really enlightens his life. And then she dies 
off oh, screen fuck. because of the swing that they all go on and they like foreshadow it the, the swing starts getting closer to the brook as it's going over and it's oh. a particularly rainy day and they have like this real emotional scene where it's clear that they're like forming this amazing friendship and he's I don't know if he's in love with her or anything, but he's just like, this is a, a, an amazing friend. Yeah. And then she's like, I'm going to go have a little play about on swings. You want to come? He's like, oh, I can't go, go back. And then they have like a slow-mo of her, like, like waving in the rain. It's like tipping it down. Yeah, typical like yeah. wife of the star of a movie who's definitely going to die. And shit. then he comes back and then they're like, well, he, he goes to play about or something like that. And he comes back a bit late for dinner and his family are like, what the fuck? Where have you been? What's happened? And he's like, oh, it's just... It's been honest, I was just out. It? I was just out. What, what's wrong? And then it turns out that she died. Okay, so thing, the like, moment off-screen. that you cry is when the parents deliver this news. Or it's another it- one. So it's similar to Life is Beautiful, where it's like an off screen death okay. and it just out of nowhere. You're like, well, but that doesn't make Hang sense. Hang on a minute. Hang it's on like, a minute. The, Please, reason no. why, the reason why it's so impactful and it, it, it's very memorable yeah. is because it's so realistic to shocking deaths in real life. Yeah, okay. Where it's like you have. You, you don't get signposted sometimes when people die. There's and no then nice like, narrative. No, There's no it, cosmic justice. It's like, this it is just some, Sometimes people just die. And yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's yeah. shocking. They don't show it happen. You have to come to terms with it whilst the boy does. <sighs> Very deep. But okay, seeing so, as you haven't watched it. Well, uh, okay. But we, okay. It, but it is, ultimately, it is your decision every every film from now on. So I would go for Bridge Terabithia. I excellent. Think people, then that's what we'll go with, with, mate. That's what we'll go with. I'm going to deliver the next one for us. Go on. I don't think it's going to win, but I think you've watched it. The Boy in Striped Pajamas. Yes, I did watch The Boy in Striped Pajamas. I yeah, watched it about eight one, times in high school. God, that, yeah, that was a very much, uh, you have to watch it at school, don't you? You yeah, <laughs> feel like we yeah. always watch that. It must have been, it could have been just. So uh, tragic, that. So tragic. You, yeah. It's, it's definitely one of those where you're like, oh, an old little. The little protagonist boy dies as well. Doesn't do bridge for Terabithia for me. I okay, cool. Well, I'll tell you what. We have taken a little longer, so let's just press straight on. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm going to go for Schindler's List. Okay, not watched. Um, Very much on my to-watch list. So the moment would be... He, he has this cathartic scene where finally the Allies come into Germany. Ooh. I would prefer if we didn't spoil this too much. Okay. Is this going to ruin it? Mm. Do you know that Oscar Schindler saves loads of Jews? Yeah. It's not really. Okay, go for it then. <laughs> he just like, Maybe but, just, just think a few words ahead just so in case the, you say something. Yeah, so the, the kind of emotional, cathartic um, climax is the, the war ending. Yes. And him kind I've of coming to, rea- seen a conversation coming to the realisation of what he's done. It's surrounded by all these people and... He still can't. He's he, he basically is like I could have done more. That's I've seen it. I've seen that. Okay, yeah, yeah. And that's probably the saddest point of the film. But still, is there a single moment that's super, super, super? Powerful? No, I wouldn't say so. Is it? And also, you know, for some people that'll be yeah. You know, for for Jewish people watching, that's probably going to have yeah, a massive and impact. And, Jewish grandparents um, and shit. So yeah, for me, it did probably not not as much of an emotional work. <laughs> probably more emotional for for some, but not for me. So see you later, Schindler. All right, well, I'm going to send you one. So what's currently on the podium again? Just to remind me, uh, British Sarabithia. Would <laughs> this is not going to do it? <laughs> but I cried at this. Monsters Inc. One. Oh, <laughs> wish wish bit. I can't remember, but I definitely did. I think it's when they fucking... She has to say, like, bye to him or some shit. I, I think really he can. gets, like, logged out in some snowstorm and then, like... Oh, yeah. I think that, yeah. Like I don't remember that being us. There's, like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just pathetic. It took me all about five minutes to come up with six films. No, I, there was a scene where... No, I should be clear. This is another one which I cried as a child watching okay. it. Right, well done. I, I think I could probably hack it now. <laughs> all right. Um, very, very sad, but I'd be surprised if it beat Schindler's List's better Defeater. yeah, <laughs> yeah. So. all right we'll leave I, I i don't think it does sorry okay mate. well i'm i'm all out of films so um, i've got click did you ever watch that that no. adam sandler film pretty no. sad okay but whatever we'll leave that um and then i've got two pretty heavy hitters now which to be honest either could take top spot even though they actually had less of an emotional impact on me first one is the green mile 
Yeah, okay. John, uh, have you watched Rima? I, Faye's been trying to get me to watch it for a while. I, know, I, just, I, don't, I just don't want... I know, I know how it ends. Like, I know the injustice that, that it ends with. And I, I'll be honest, the reason I haven't watched this one is not because I haven't got round to it, but because I refuse to. Yeah, okay. It, it just sounds way too sad for no, me. Number one in a lot of people's lists, but not this yeah. one. okay. See you later. Get it out of you there. You know what? This suffered from i watched top 10 watch mojo's saddest films or saddest film moments of all sure. time number one this so the, the green mile one the green the, mile one okay, was number yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and so for me you're like wow is it really yeah was it that sad was it really so you're a heartless probably bastard is, probably, i cried at I, monsters inc oh you <laughs> laugh at green mile <laughs> i wouldn't be surprised if these two films here have had more tears wept than any other. Yeah. So I'll, I'll say not the Which for me, is but sadder, not which had more tears wept, which would be a weird title to a video. More wept tears. <laughs> because... Part of the Mate Night formula, that, isn't it? Well, you, sh- All right. Shawshank Redemption. Where's the sad bit in there? That came Brooks. up in it. Uh, the old man, when he, when he decides to do himself in. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I think we've said sadder moments in this really? in this than that. Yeah, I'd okay. say Lion King's right. probably sadder. Well, saddest moment then. Because he was old as fuck. Like, sorry, <laughs> but it kind of, there was some cosmic justice to it. What, because he was old? Well, he wasn't fitting in in his world. He'd had his years. It wasn't like some of the deaths like Terabithia where well, it's a child. Yeah, he wants to go out on his own terms. Yeah, like he chose to do it. He it's wasn't very happy in this new scene. world. It's yeah, it was... I, I, I'm not here saying, you know, I didn't like it. I just don't think it's as sad as mm. others. You scenes. know what, fair enough. I am actually very happy with either Bridge to Terabithia or Life is Beautiful winning because yeah. I feel that both of them provide like uh, deaths which have a lot of emotional structure very powerful and weight yeah yeah Yeah. both them big big time and uh, the winner the main night saddest moment of all time bridge to terabith yeah you should watch it just I, to see I what will be now, yeah. We'll Just listen. see if it was as sad as uh, I remember it being. If you guys are listening, uh, please let us know in the comments below if we've missed any or if you uh, disagree. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.